Welcome to this course on setting up Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL and installing OpenFOAM on Windows. In this session, I'll guide you step by step on how to install WSL, navigate the Linux environment, and finally install OpenFOAM on your Windows machine. Before we begin, let's quickly go over what WSL is and why it's useful. WSL or Windows Subsystem for Linux allows you to run a Linux operating system side by side with Windows without rebooting your machine. Compared to using virtual machines or dual booting, WSL is lightweight and runs natively within Windows. This means that you get faster startup and minimal resource usage compared to virtual machines. Docker is another alternative, especially for containerized applications. We will discuss further about Docker in OpenFOAM macOS installation. In summary, WSL is an excellent balance between simplicity and performance, making it perfect for running OpenFOAM simulations. Now that we understand what WSL is, let's go ahead and install it. You can install the WSL either from the Microsoft Store or from the command prompt. In this tutorial, I will install WSL using command prompt. First, open the command prompt. Then, select the drive you want to install WSL, in this case I will install it on folder C. Type WSL install D Ubuntu 24.04, which is the latest version during this video is being recorded. Wait for some time to install. You may need to reboot your system if it's your first time installing Ubuntu. Reopen WSL by searching for Ubuntu, or sometimes it will be relaunched automatically after restore. Waiting for installation, this may take a few minutes. If waiting too long, you can close and reopen it. When you launch Ubuntu for the first time, it will ask you to create a username and password. These credentials will be used for administrative tasks in the Linux environments. When typing your password, you may not see your typing. Don't panic, it's normal and it's just for security reasons. Make sure you are not using spaces or special characters for this password. When you are in WSL, you can see your username and blue tilde. It will be different when you are opening your command prompt so make sure you are in the WSL environment. Before we move on, let's adjust the terminal text size to make it easier to read. Click on the drop down menu in the Windows terminal, go to settings, and increase the font size. After the installation and setup are completed, you can check your file explorer, and you can see the, a penguin icon in the bottom left corner, which is the directory where your Ubuntu files are saved. We will discuss this relationship between the directory and the WSL command in the other cat chapter. With WSL installed, now we are ready to install OpenFOAM. This step may involve some Linux commands, but you don't have to worry about it. Just follow the steps and we will discuss them in the different sections. First, let's clarify 
the two primary resources for downloading open forms, which are openform.com and openform.org. The main difference between openform.com and openform.org is their support organizations. Openform.com, maintained by OpenCFD Ltd or ESI group with regular updates ensuring stability and backward compatibility. On the other hand, openform.org, maintained by the OpenForm Foundation, is community-driven, fully open source, and geared toward academics and researchers who prefer flexibility and self-support through forums and collaborative contributions. It doesn't matter which version you are using. For most fundamental solvers, they are similar. It will be a problem only if you want to open a specific solver or project from your colleagues or professors that can only be opened in a specific version. In fact, you can install more than one version into your device. Why does it have more than one resource in the first place? Well, it is open source, so everyone can have their own version of it. In this installation tutorial, we will focus on the openform.com version. Now, open your web browser and go to openform.com. Once there, navigate to the download section and click on current release. From the available operating system options, select Ubuntu Linux which will take you to the installation instructions. We'll follow the steps provided on the website to install OpenFoam. First, open your terminal and enter the following command to add the repository. Unlike conventional command prompt, you can copy and paste the scripts by using the right click. Enter passwords to continue the installation. Next, run the update command to ensure your package list are current by running the sudo apt-get update. Now, install the preferred openform version by running this command. Make sure you replace the number with the correct version you want to install. Since we won't be using shell mode in this course, we can skip the last step provided on the website. Once the installation is complete, we need to configure our environment by sorting the appropriate OpenFOAM script. Next, we will set the OpenFOAM environment during the launching of the WSL. First, open your file explorer and find your home directory within the WSL.
open the bash rc file using a text editor. Scroll to the last line and copy the source command provided at the end of the installation output. Save the file and close the editor. To verify that OpenFOAM in, is installed correctly, close the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL terminal. Reopen the WSL terminal to make sure the bash rc file correctly set. Run the following command to check if OpenFOAM is correctly set up. For, like, for example, block mesh help. If everything is set up correctly, you should see OpenFOAM's help menu displayed in the terminal. The installation of OpenFOAM via WSL doesn't include the Paraview installation, which is the software to do post-processing or display your results. You have to install it manually from paraview.org. Select your preferred version of Paraview, Simply download, extract, and open it.